Hey everyone and welcome back to the land down under. I'm here in Canberra, it's a chilly Saturday morning and I'm heading into the National Museum of Australia which I have never visited before. Even as a child growing up when we visited all the museums in Canberra, this wasn't one of them. I don't even know if it was here. So let's go check out and see what it's got. Okay, so as I was saying, I've never been here before, but there are letters that are crucial to Port Arthur here on display, and this is the last weekend. So I wanted to come here and see them because I will be heading to Port Arthur later this year for the Three Cape Track, and I just wanted to, I don't know, pay my respects for what happened. The Great Southern Land exhibit is truly amazing and for me I was really touched by the whaling exhibit especially because I've spent a lot of time camping back-to-back -back summers in Ben Boyd National Park and just seeing the history and seeing the places I have seen and visited and stayed and really learning more of that history was really incredible for me. Okay guys, we are leaving the Great Southern Land Gallery and oh my gosh, it is so cool. I have lost track of time. We're now heading towards the First Australians Gallery. This museum is amazing. It is way better than I was expecting. It's really special. I recommend coming. Hey guys. This is really, really cool, the Welcome to Country section. Like, really cool. Okay guys, that was phenomenal. We are now in apparently what is called the Garden of Australian Dreams. And I have no idea what to expect. I don't know if it's just like an amazing garden or if it's actually like the dreaming. We'll find out in a moment. Okay, so. <laughs> I've wondered the Garden of Australian Dreams, so it is a connection to country and the dreaming. So I got that figured out. There is a scary lady whispering, and I can't figure out how to get out of here. Maybe this is it. Landmarks, people, and places across Australia. I think we're here. I think we're in our next exhibition.
Okay guys, that is a wrap here at the National Museum of Australia and holy moly, it was better than I expected. Today I've just done the general admission, which is free. I do not have it in me to do the exhibition as well, so I haven't bought a ticket. You can do that just inside if you do have the stamina, but all of my senses are just overloaded right now, except for taste, because the cafe was super busy and I just couldn't handle the noise. There was plenty of tables still left, but I was like, I cannot sit in here because I need to get away because this museum's unique. It has auditory components to all of its like displays and it's really cool because I'm not just visually overwhelmed, but I was auditory overwhelmed as well and I just can't deal. I'm forgetting how to even speak English right now. Um, so don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out any of the upcoming adventures. Now we're back here in Australia. There is going to be lots of hiking content coming up because the Three Cape Track is finally booked. As you've probably seen if you joined my channel from my prepping for Three Cape Track video, um, there has been a hiatus on that front because some things happened. But it's all good now. I have my flights, I have my trip booked, I have my accommodation, prep before and after booked, and I have all my gear. And now it's all about the training. So until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.